Hello friends, this is uh, car, compass and ruler, one of the many dynamic uh, geometry programs available. It's a rather advanced program and it has features that you, find it, you don't find in other programs. So let me give you a short introduction what uh, the program is able to do. First of all, what is dynamic geometry? Well, if you create a segment like this, you can move the endpoint and uh, all uh, lines or construction objects which depend on this point will be updated. Uh, for instance, let's take another color and uh, construct the middle perpendicular. So we take a circle and then we connect the two intersections of the circle. And now as you see, the construction is updated once I move one of the endpoints. Well, this program lets you hide uh, or reduce uh, all of these points and segments. You, know, you could even hide them just by selecting the high tool and, uh, sorry, just by selecting the high tool. Get rid of that. Hide tool and hide all those details. Furthermore, you can make a macro. A macro simply by uh, generating a uh, macro from the two points and the uh, target objects will be target objects, will be the middle perpendicular here. And that's the macro, so let's call that uh, middle perpendicular. Something like that. And as soon as you run this, uh, let's take another segment. Uh, doesn't The color doesn't really matter, so you can take any other color. and then run the macro middle perpendicular from that point and that point and you see you get the middle perpendicular. This is macro feature. Well, of course this program also has uh, the option to uh, have a co coordinate grid like that and if, if it has one you can snap the points to coordinate points like these. You can also show the coordinates of the points and their names. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, you can also show the lengths only of segments and things like that. Uh, you can fill the area with uh, some color and get the area here. Uh, let me uh, put in a triangle, maybe an alias. Has the area of five. Yep. Uh, things like that can be done. Of course, you can also do functions. Yeah, define a function simply by using the function tool, or you can define expressions. So let's let me start with a function. So variable is x, expression for uh, x is x, uh, this is the x-coordinate, and I'll show you how to use that. Let's, let's take sine x here. And uh, that does not work. The reason is that we have uh, this uh, x in degrees, so that's 10 degrees only. We need to uh, transform that to rut, I believe. Uh, that's also not sorry, we need to use deck. And here we have the sign function. It's only generated between some limits which you can specify here. Good. Uh, well, you can zoom in out, of course, with the mouse wheel simply and move the construction with a right mouse button. And you can even create uh, 
intersections between curves like this. Uh, let me do another one. Let me take a circle of radius 3 here. Exactly 3. Fixed. And then uh, compute this intersection point. Uh, let's call that intersection. And define everything here. And uh, OK. Uh, we need to cancel. Sorry, where is that gone? It's now on this side. The problem is uh, that we have two intersection points. We need that one. So this is exactly the point which is uh, three units away from the origin on the sine curve. Try to compute that with uh, numerical mathematics. It's also possible, but uh, uh, this is much easier. So that's what you can do. You can also, of course, uh, get uh, Riemann curves below or color color uh, the, uh, the, uh, the area below a curve and things like that, so you can do that. Uh, what else can you do? There is the automatic track feature. Now let's take a circle. Let's this time fix circle of some radius, does not really matter. And uh, another one. Okay. And now we want to uh, take the closest point from any point here on this circle. Let's take another color, maybe black, and take one point here, which is bound to that circle, and take this. And then the middle point. Now, if you move that, uh, that point will move on a curve. You notice, and you can actually see the curve by taking an automatic track. So auto track point aligned to track this one, and while moving that point. So this is a rather strange object, and you can use these objects to intersect with other objects and study them how they would behave if you change one of those points. See that? Well, this is far more powerful than you think. Uh, I could give you other examples, but there are lots of examples in the documentation of the program. You can print that. So if you export or print that, we have an export preview. And uh, let's take uh, these values which make everything a little bit larger, because uh, this is meant to be exported into a text file. As you see, so the export uh, has a certain width, height, and a resolution 300 dot per inch. And then we have a line width in centimeters, and points, point size in centimeters, text size, and so on. And that will look good if you print it in exactly that size. Let me turn off the export preview. Of course, you can also just uh, export the screen dump, which is not good for any uh, text, text file, of course. Well, uh, let me show you some other features here. A typical example is uh, moving. So you can move the line in parallel. Uh, if you make a uh, rectangular, you can move a rectangular somewhere. And of course, if you move that one, the rectangular will be updated. You can mark the angle, of course, uh, like that. Let me take another color. Tuck and you can mark it as rectangular simply using that. Okay, now how about uh, latish, latish support? That's also possible. So you can make a text here. 
and say, say dollar and uh, say uh, a1 or was plus a2 or something like that and you get latish export and that's also usable for 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 uh, uh, point oh, this is this is called p18 but you can call it uh, dollar p1 if you like uh, of course you have to switch on so p1 like that well uh, so much about a short introduction into that program and I'm going to make some more uh, well some more uh, videos on YouTube on show you, showing you how to do stuff, uh, interesting constructions and uh, school constructions, everything with that program. Uh, well, as a final word, it's also possible with macros to do hyperbolic geometry, for instance, in this program. And uh, for instance, the reflection to a circle is here programmed. So we have, let's take a circle. Okay, and uh, reflection. So if we take any point, uh, we need to, to find a point first. And if we take any point, reflection circle, we can re reflect the point at the circle, if you know what that uh, means. That's quite interesting. It's done by the macro. So here are shortcuts for macros, uh, like uh, middle perpendicular here and uh, angle bisector and things like that. Well, so uh, documentation is in form of context help in the program, or there is a uh, HTML file which you find on SourceForge. In any case, uh, the home page you can find on car any Pokemon day and uh, the files for download you will find uh, there but they are on sourceforge so they are virus checked you need a more modern uh, java version i think anything above java 11 will do at this time well i hope you have uh, now uh, got some interest into the program and uh, try it out Tell me what works and what doesn't work. I'm quite interested in your opinion. Bye-bye.